Hey guys, it's Shock with TG, and in today's video, we're going to be going over all of the recent drama surrounding Sploit. Before we continue this video though, 60.5% of you watching this video right now aren't subscribed to the channel. If you enjoy Rainbow Six Siege content consisting of everything from tips and tricks to gameplay videos, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. Now I want to make it very clear that I am in no way trying to attack Sploit or slander him in any way whatsoever. All I'm trying to do with this video is show the evidence which people have brought forward saying that Sploit cheats and look through it. I'll be giving you my opinion on this and telling you whether or not I think he cheats at the end of this video so be sure to watch it till the end for that before you think that I'm attacking here. So if you're on Twitter or you just missed all the drama, basically Sploit's account was battle eye banned for cheating. Now the reason this has happened is because as Sploit has said himself, a known cheater had stole his account and started to cheat on it. So to be very clear, it was not Sploit himself blatantly cheating on his account, it was a cheater who stole his account from him and started cheating on it. If you're a console player or you've never heard of account pulling, it's a really big problem on PC right now and Ubisoft are working to fix the issue. Things like this has happened many times in the past though. Now this is where the drama really started. Fox had made this tweet where he says, so it's convenient that if your account gets banned, it got hacked. I see you. So this started a big discussion on whether or not Foxa was joking or not, but with some of Fox's tweets following that, it was pretty obvious that he wasn't joking. Foxa goes on to tweet saying, I don't stand down, in response to someone tweeting this meme at him. He continues by saying, believe me or not, here on out, I'm shedding light on who's sus. Next victim, I'll have a little more video evidence slash comparison. The next victim is blank, so he's clearly not wanting to say who his next victim is. So he's sitting here that he plans on exposing more people within the Siege community who he thinks to be sus. So there are literally hundreds of tweets that I could show, but to keep this video from being three hours long, I'm just going to stick to some of the most important stuff. So right now I'm just scrolling through and showing you all of what comes up if you search Sploit on Twitter right now. As you can see, the community is pretty torn on if he's cheating or not, so let's get back into some individual tweets and break them down. So Foxa says here in response to some people criticizing his claims, I've played this game longer and at a higher level than you ever have or will. If you can't tell a macro from recoil control, it's because of the lack of experience, so I don't blame you. In response to Fox's tweet, Frost says this, slow-mo clip of Sploit using the SMG-11. If people still say he doesn't macro, I don't know what to tell them. So clearly based off of this clip, Frost, who tweeted this, thinks that Sploit has a recoil macro. Which I should also mention is what people such as Foxa are accusing Sploit of using. They don't think that he is aim or wall hacking, they just think that he's a recoil macro. So in response to that clip by Frost, Foxa has this to say, the best smoke mains in the world can't control the SMG-11 like this. So Foxa is agreeing with Frost here, saying that he doesn't think that even the best smoke mains in the entire world can control the recoil like Sploit does here. So Skies responds to the clip saying, I'm not reading the whole thread, don't know if Sploit cheats, but I watched Bosco for months, hours on end, and I played smoke for a while. That does not look normal at all take that how you want. Foxer responds thanking Skies. So Skies in his tweet is basically saying that he doesn't want to say if Sploit is or isn't cheating, but he doesn't think that the recoil control shown in that clip looks natural. So all these pros responding and commenting on how the clip looks fishy of course started a big debate on whether or not Sploit was actually using a recoil macro. Now it wasn't all negative towards Sploit, and there were plenty of pros and well-known players in the community defending him as well. So as I said earlier, this has been a big debate and the community seems to be very torn on whether or not he's actually using a recoil macro or not. Sploit tweeted a picture later on showing that he was unbanned and got his account back. Someone had mockingly tweeted at Foxa saying, nice cheats, to which Foxa responded saying, I mean, he's a big YouTuber with a good story. No chance UB doesn't unban him. So Fox is saying that he would have gotten unbanned no matter what. But as you can see, people were responding again, criticizing Fox for his claims, saying that they want to see a clip where he's clearly cheating and that there's no way another player could recreate the clip. So in response to all of that, Fox drops the link to one of Sploit's tweets where he shows a clip of him controlling Buck's recoil in a T hunt. It's pretty obvious that Fox thinks that Sploit is using a recoil macro here as well. So what's the deal then? Is Sploit cheating or does he just have insane recoil control? I'd love to hear what you have to say down in the comments. As for what I think personally, really quickly before the video goes on, I just want to say that this video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. It's light, sleek, and industrial. It doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge in your back pocket, and it seriously changed my whole pocket situation. It's designed to easily fit in your front pocket. Most people are still using wallets designed in the 90s, carrying on older seats and gift cards in an unorganized mess. Why have we moved from large flip phones to smartphones but still carry the same wallet? It holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors and styles including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. If this wasn't enough to win you over yet, check out our 30,000 5 star reviews. 
The durable material means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. You could buy this one wallet and carry it for your entire life. The Rich Team is so confident that you'll like it, that they'll actually let you test drive it for 45 days. You can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. I'm personally using the Carbon Fiber version and I love it. Its sleek design is amazing. This honestly feels as good as when I went from a wired mouse to a wireless mouse. It actually makes that much of a difference. It's also made with RFID blocking technology that protects you from digital pickpocketers, which is never something I had really thought about, but I love that this wallet has it. Get your very own Ridge wallet with 10% off at ridge.com slash shock and use code shock s-h-a-w-k that's ridge.com slash shock for 10 percent off the link will be in the description i think that spoy is an insanely talented player he clearly has incredible mechanical skill with his amazing aim and movement there's no doubt about that as for if I think he's the recoil macro or not, I personally think that he is just very, very good at controlling recoil. If you have the mechanical skill that Sploit does and you were to practice controlling your recoil a lot, I think that it's very doable to have little to no recoil on certain guns. A lot of people have been recreating the clips that I've shown you all today and getting it to be pretty accurate to the clips of Sploit. So at the end of the day, I think Sploit is just an absolutely insane player and when you're that good, there's always going to be people who think you cheat. So big congrats to Sploit for all the success on YouTube and as a content creator he's an amazing player and definitely deserves it anyways though that's going to be all from me today i hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did be sure to like comment and subscribe it would help me out a lot more than you'd think before i let you guys go though if you haven't already subscribed to the post plant podcast youtube channel please be sure to do so it only takes a second and would help us out a lot we'll be posting everything from the full vods to highlight clips so you can pick and choose what you want to watch from any episode and if you want to watch the podcast live i'll have a link down in the description to my twitch channel which is where we'll be hosting the podcast also be sure to check out my tips playlist which i'll have linked down in the description i have over 30 videos in the playlist i have videos on everything such as how to find your sensitivity how to get better aim the best way to switch from console to pc and even how to improve the video quality of your game and make it easier to see people and win more gunfights so if you're interested in that be sure to check out that link in the description I'll also have my guessing rank series linked down below, which has every video all in one place as I know you guys love those videos so much. And finally, I'll have all of my socials like TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and even my Discord server where you'll be able to talk with me about anything you need help with in Siege. So be sure to check out the description for all of those links and I hope to see you in tomorrow's video. Anyways though, thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.